A new year means new styles from the year's hottest color to the latest trends in makeup and accessories. Early show style contributor Katrina Zish has a sneak peek at the fashion forecast for 2011. Great to have you with us, Katrina. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, too. And I love this color that you're wearing. Well, thank you very much. It just so happens that this color is called Honeysuckle, and it is considered the it color mm. of 2011. Now, why, you ask? Well, because Pantone... <laughs> I do. Yes, I, I had to feel <laughs> you might. Pantone, really, the world-renowned color trending experts, they choose every year the color of the really? year based on pop culture, based on film, based on art. And this year, it's Honeysuckle, and they consider it very energizing and optimistic, which is something we certainly all need. Yes. I like it when they choose what I already have in my wardrobe. That so helps I don't have a to lot, too. A new one. Yes, this is kind of a special one. It's a very flattering one, well, too. Well, thank you. you. This beautiful. one is by Nanette Lepore, borrowed today from the Runway Collection. And we have some other examples here. This also from Nanette Lepore. It doesn't have to be a solid color. It can be floral. And we've got a great little dress over here from Cynthia Steffi. But these mm. are designs that showed up on the runways for the spring 2011 collections. Even looking forward to the pre-fall collections that are already happening, we're seeing honeysuckle pop up. Ah, I like it. Also, as far as makeup goes. We're still seeing lots of color. We are. I see that here. So what can we expect in terms of, you know, how we should be applying it and thinking about it in the next year? Well, we're seeing lots of color, and color can be scary, especially yes. for women thinking, okay, I'm really going to wear, you know, bright purple eyeshadow to work. We're not recommending that. But we saw at Christian Dior, the Dior runway makeup was spectacular. Brights and brights, bright lips. I love and what lips. you can do is instead of putting everything together in one look like we're seeing here from the Dior runway, you just can add little bits, whether it's a touch of an eyeliner that you wear when you go out in the evening, whether it's a very subtle, sheer application of an eyeshadow that has a little bit of a color in it. We're not talking about the the heavy kind You don't of, have to walk the runway in real you life. Don't, but you don't, and it's not pancake it Exactly. I like that. No costumes. Hand, that's good. I like that, too. Mm -hmm. um, as far as handbags go. Yes. We're all into handbags. There's always something new for the season. Sure. What will be this year's handbag? Structured bags are hmm. what we're looking toward here. These two examples are from Millie, and she launches her uh, debut accessories collection in January, so these aren't even out yet. Um, they will be in the next couple weeks. But basically, anything with structure and shape. You don't want to see anything slouchy or shapeless or sloppy. Oh. We're kind of taking a cue from the Mad Men style that we all admired so much last year. I love the Mad Men style. I have to admit, in terms of clothing, mm -hmm. um, you know, one thing is always that question of the skirt because sure the is. skirt just keeps shrinking higher and higher. Is there, are we going to get any relief when it comes <laughs> to the hemline? Well, you know, hemlines, kind of everything has goes these days, except what we've been seeing designers really embracing for uh, this year is the longer hemline. We're seeing anything from just below the knee even to the floor, and that's not just for evening dresses. What we have here is a dress straight off the runway from rising star designer Prabal Gulring. We're seeing some some uh, uh, footage here from his 2011 spring show. And as you can see, it's not dowdy at all. A lot of people think, oh, that's kind of a strange length. Prabal told me he thinks of it as being very intellectual and elegant. Mm, which I like to that. Me sounds exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you, Katrina. Oh, well, thank you, Rebecca. Um, you too. The 70s, thank you so much. The 70s inspired look seems like it's something that could continue to Absolutely. be. Absolutely. I want to actually go over sure. here and show you this. This entire look, which is amazing, is head to toe straight from the Marc Jacobs runway, mm -hmm. which is something, let's say, amazing because Marc Jacobs is pretty much the arbiter of all things that are big. 70s inspired is what he showed on his runway. This is actually a jumpsuit, a wide leg, flowy mm. jumpsuit. You can see the 70s inspiration with the flower, the belt, the neck piece. There's even a big hat that goes with it. And designers certainly followed suit. The big trend that we're seeing not only for spring but also for fall is all about that. And I'm just going to grab this shoe. Yes as we step back here, because everyone's naysayers have been saying the platform, my favorite shoe in the universe, is out of style and we're seeing all these little kitten heels. Well, straight from the Marc Jacobs runway, people, the platform is still here to stay. We also saw it on the Prada runways, on Chanel. It's not going anywhere. So keep those platforms. Keep, keep wearing them. Stay yes, tall. I will. Stand tall. Stand tall. Katrina <laughs> Zish, thank you so much. Thanks Happy New much. Year to you. Happy New Year.